Hi guys, Robbo46 here, working yourselves back to MotoGP20 on the Xbox One X. It's time to continue with our Junior Moto2 team. And we've got some uh, special helmets, courtesy of Kira Manuel off Instagram, who has created all the helmets for our Junior teams, both Moto3 and Moto2. So that is Danma's uh, Japanese-inspired helmet. Looks really good. And then we will look at Daisy Jackson's helmet for uh, Moto2 as well. So here it is. DJ Daisy Jackson. It's got the Union Jack on the back and a number 33 as well. And uh, number 33 is on top of the helmet as well. And uh, Oakley is on there as well. So it is Moto2 time here at Mugello. Danma has qualified him 15th. That will be short lived though. I'm sure he's going to drop back to like 20th place within the first lap. Daisy Jackson, where is she qualified? 7th place. So at uh, front of the third row. Sporting their new helmets as well. So uh, let's go and get this race underway. And uh, see how they get on. So row three, the head of row three will be Daisy Jackson, hard front, hard rear. And then in 15th place is Dan Mutt, he's gone for hard front, hard rear as well. Right, let's go to Daisy, see how she gets on, here we go. So run down to turn one, Daisy is up to six. Everyone's staying on the bikes this time, not like uh, Moto3. Daisy's actually dropped a few positions there. She is down to 10th place. Fighting with a few of them getting boxed in as well. Right, she's back up to 8th, 7th. Danma's not that far behind. I'll tell you what, Danma's only in 10th, but oh, he got properly sandwiched there. Follow your teammate. Follow your teammate. Oh, they were a little bit wide. They've got the inside now through Savelli. Now you can have the inside through Arabiata 1 or not. Come on. Squeeze through. Squeeze through. That's the way. Back up to 10th place. I swear there's something wrong with his throttle. Back to Daisy. She's already up to 5th place. Can she make up another place? Just behind Luti at the moment. Come on, Daisy, keep pushing, keep pushing. You can get Luti up the inside. Come on. Through, get through, get through, get through. Oh, contact. Okay, through the S's. Get the run, get the run. Not yet. Around the outside, that's not going to work through the final corner. Save it for the straight. Oh, Lutu twitched to the left there, that was a little bit weird. You slipstream. Come on, get through, get through, get through. That's another position, fourth place. So Aaron Canet is in third. Can Daisy do anything about him? Can she get with the front group? Usually they're a little bit too far away to uh, to try and catch, but they're not that far at the moment. So we'll keep an eye on that. Danma is still in 11th, which is still better than what he qualified. So he's actually fighting this time. He's going to get into 10th place now. Just behind Hector Garzo. Yeah, Danma is actually putting up a bit of a fight this time although he's uh, struggling with accelerating by the looks of it because he's just lost a place but he's got it back he just seems that last little bit of acceleration he seems to lack and that's where he's losing loads of time now he's going to lose another position there he goes so back down to 12 Daisy Jackson trying to hold on to these three. Can she get back on the podium? That would be good. 
Oh, can it a little bit wide there? Come on, Daisy, do your best. She can get in the slipstream down the straight, that will definitely help her out. Go on, use the slipstream. Use the slipstream. So Navarro a 52-2. Daisy's close to can it. But not close enough to get him on the brakes into turn one. Keep pushing, keep pushing. You can get third. Continue your run of podiums. That would be good. Dan Mutt is in 11th. He just looks like he's uh, struggling a little bit. Like I said, he seems to be struggling with acceleration, which isn't ideal. Looking strong in fourth position. Is she going to be able to do anything about Kenneth? I'm not entirely sure. She seems to be struggling to stay with them. And she's got uh, Marini not that far behind. So uh, she can't dilly dally too long. I think she's just losing a bit of pace now. Third person wise, yeah, she's lost a bit of ground on Canet. So coming out the final corner. Down the straight she goes. 51 6 from Navarro, who is leading. 51-4 for Baudazari. He's in second. Yeah, we're not really getting any crashes in uh, Moto2 either. I know we saw one earlier with Moto3. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much the only crash we've had in this series so far. What, Daisy is closing back in on Canet. The front two are getting away. I think Canet may be dropping his pace slightly. Maybe he's got some tyre issues. This is, of course, the penultimate lap of the race. Gone, Daisy. Attack. Attack. Try and get third if you can. Keep your title hopes alive. Oh. Where's uh? Oh, she's really pulled away from Marini. So that's good. Right, you got just over a lap to go to try and sort this out, and uh, Canet's rear tyre is moving around. So is Daisy's though. Okay trying to uh, close in a little bit more she's really closed in through the final corner but she's going wide she's sliding as well all right use it use it use it use it use it here we go daisy jackson up to third position with one lap to go can she hold it can it looking for the inside down in turn one daisy a little bit later on the brakes Nice. Right, where is uh, Dan? Oh, he's just lost a position. He's just lost a position. So, uh, Fernandez is passed. Dan Mert down to 12th. But Daisy in third. She's pulling away from Canet. She is pulling away from Canet.
I'll tell you what, she's actually closing in on these two. Again, it's going to be... She's going to need at least one more lap to uh, to actually catch these guys, but... She ain't going to get it, but... She wouldn't surprise me if she's the fastest person on track on this lap. She's really closing them in, because they had a bit of a lead. She is really closing them in. Maybe she's been conserving her tyres, but I think she has left it a little bit too late as Baldessari goes up the inside of Navarro. Navarro very wide. Come on, Daisy, be smart, be smart. Get a good line through the S's. Oh, she's got a good run. She might be able to sneak second. She might be able to get... She's gone the wrong side, but she is through. Has she held it? Has she held it? She has. Second place right on the final lap. I was not expecting that. That's a good result. That's a fantastic result. Second place. She had the fastest lap of the race as well. 150.7. That's why she closed them down so quickly. I didn't even see where Danma finished, if I'm honest. I uh, forgot to switch back to him. But yeah, there we go. Fastest lap of the race to Daisy Jackson in second place. What a lap that was. But uh, Baldessari takes the win from Jackson in second, Navarro third, Canet fourth, Schrotter in fifth. Danma, 12th position. At least that's a few points. So, championship wise, Daisy Jackson has now got an 18 point lead over Jorge Navarro. Um, Baldessari's moved up to seventh. So, Baldessari's not a title threat at the moment. So she extended as, extends her lead overall. What about Danma? Well, is, where is he? 14th. He's actually moved up three places. He's got 18 points now. He's still 85 behind, which is a, uh, a huge number. So the team, we are still in third. 24 points behind. So yeah, Daisy Jackson gets to go to Park Ferme again. What a terrific second place I think maybe one more lap and she she would have definitely won but uh, that gap to uh, Navarro and Baldessari was a pretty big gap the previous lap but obviously setting the fastest lap of the race really helped her close in she's doing us proud that is for sure good old DJ Here we go at Catalonia for Moto2. Danma has qualified in fifth position. Does that mean Daisy Jackson is on pole? Where is Daisy? Show me. Oh, seven. Danma has out qualified Daisy Jackson. That's the first time this season that has happened. Let's see what happens to him. I'm expecting him to drop like a stone on lap one. But uh, yeah, let's see. But Danma. Fifth position. Is this a flash in the pan or is he finally starting to turn things around? We do not want a repeat of Moto3. Here we go. So, Dammer actually got a pretty decent start. So did Daisy. Down towards turn one. He's been sandwiched. He was so lucky not to get taken out there. Danba's up to third place. Has he been listening to me? Be more aggressive on the opening lap. Danma. Third position. He's about to lose it though. So we are fourth and fifth in this race. He's got him back. Go on, Daisy. Get him as well. Get Baldazari. I think. No, Baldessari's back underneath Danma, and so is Daisy's underneath Danma as well. No, she hasn't got him. Oh, they're in too hot. They're in too hot. But it's worked for them. So they're now splitting my team. Daisy had a fantastic race at Mugello. 
Right, into turn 10 for the first time. Is anyone going to fall off? No, they're not. Not in the front group anyway. But yeah, super surprised at Danma in fourth position at the moment. Can Daisy get past Digi though? It's, this has never happened this season. It's always been Daisy Jackson outperforming Danma. But he's obviously thought, I've had enough of this. I need to show what I can do. So end of lap one, Dama in fourth, Daisy in sixth. Digi in between them at the moment. Dama just losing time on the front three though. Digi's going to come past. Oh, he's trying to go the long way around. I don't think that's going to work for him. His bike seems so much quicker out of the corners. We'll see if he goes too hot into the next corner. Yeah, just go into the back of him. That's the annoying thing about the AI. They don't go, try and go around you. They just uh, try and go through you like you're not there. I'm expecting Digi to come past now. Here he comes. Dama was in his way though. Daisy was a little bit later on the brakes there. I thought she was going to be able to come through but uh, she's a bit too far back. down to the final corner. Daisy up the inside. She's trying to do a Rossi. That wasn't the final corner. She's up the inside now though. Daisy Jackson up to fifth. It's going to be short lived because Digi is just going to blast past her. Or not. No he's not. Okay here comes Daisy. Daisy's passed. No she's not. Careful guys. Don't take each other out. Battle with the teammates now. Daisy's going to try her best to get back in front of Danma. Oh, she seems like she's got the better acceleration out the corners now. And she's up the inside and through into fourth. Daisy Jackson. She's just ahead of her teammate now. Danma, who is just about to lose another position to Navarro. They're all queuing up behind now. I've got a horrible feeling Danma is going to lose quite a few positions now. Oh, did it just get into the back of him? He's going to end up with damage and that's why he's going to end up losing loads of positions. Navarro's throw, Danma's wide. And that's maybe one or two positions that he's just lost. He's just got no speed. He's got no speed. He's just lost three positions there. That was Marini almost having a big crash there. Bezeki trying to go through uh, Digi at the moment. So Daisy Jackson, she might be able to catch Dalla Porter here. Possible. She's got Navarro and Bezeki for company. This isn't over with, that's for sure. Dama is in 8th at the moment. Still inside the top 10. But he showed a bit of promise at the beginning of the race. That's for sure. Luti 43-3. Daisy is catching Dalla Porter. She could get back on the podium. But. Bezeki is coming as well. I think he's going to get past her pretty soon. He's looking menacing. Yeah, here he goes. No, not quite. He's going to be down here. He's probably going to go into the back of her. No, he's gone for the inside. Daisy closed the door on him. That's the way to do it. Keep him behind. 
Yeah, knock them on the grass as well if you want. Oh, it's not worked. The daisy is back down to fifth now. Okay, into turn 10. So, although they're catching Dalla Porter, I think the podium might be out of the question now because Bezeki is going to get past Dalla Porter soon. And then that will be the uh, podium position going, going, gone. She's got a big gap behind her. Where's Danma? He's in ninth now, so he's lost another position, this time to Marini. Has he got anyone behind him? Yeah, he's got Fernandez. Not that far behind. So down to turn one for Danma. So although he out qualified Daisy Jackson and uh, started off well in the race, it's ultimately not going to happen for him at this race. He's not going to beat her. She might back get back up to fourth place because she is almost right with Dalla Porter. But Bezeki, he's the man on the move at the moment. Marco Bezeki is on the move. Hey, I don't know what's just come up saying Luti's just on the fastest lap now. I mean, the front guys are far and away. In the out the, in the front. Come on, Daisy, get fourth. Your rear tyre is looking pretty knackered, though. Damn that! Uh, he's he's an eighth still. Navarro's got past him. Oh, he's got quite a few people for company. Up the inside of Navarro. Yes, no. Yes, no. Nagashima's going to come past. He's going to get both of them. No, he's not. Yeah, he's got both of them. So although Danma did get uh, Navarro, he's dropped back down to eighth place. Bezeki's just on the fast slap of the race to no surprise there. Yeah, Daisy's not going to get fourth. She's dropped back quite a bit from Dalla Porter. I'll tell you what, Digi is closing in fast, so she could still lose that uh, fifth position and drop down to sixth. Would be the best of results for her around here. But the rear tyre is really moving around a hell of a lot. I think she's struggling for rear grip. Damma still in eighth. But yeah, he's not going to get any higher than that. It's all about whether Daisy can hold on. I'm not sure. This is a run down to turn 10. Did she close it in? She's all over the place on the brakes. Is Digi going to be able to come through? Oh, steady, steady. He's right on it. She's going to lose it right at the end, isn't she? Right, through the final corner. Digi looking up the inside, but he didn't quite manage it. It's going to be the run to the line. Keep him behind, keep him behind, keep him behind. Yes, she did. Good. And uh, Danma gets eighth place. So inside the top ten. So Luti went on to win that race from Baldessari in second, Bezeki third, Dalla Porta fourth and uh, Daisy Jackson got fifth, Digi in sixth, uh, Nagashima seventh and Danma gets eighth place. So Daisy still leads by 22 points, so she, again she uh, manages to still pull away in the championship, Luti's moved up to third now, joint on points with Navarro. Not too bad. Team Championship.
still in third, 22 points behind. So there we go. That is uh, another two rounds completed. So let's uh, just do that. Electronics update course. Uh, can we do any upgrades? No, we haven't got enough. We've only got 319 research points. Can't really do anything in here. New offer will be discussed in the upcoming weeks. Okay. Right then, let's look at the overall standings for Moto2. So Daisy Jackson leads from Navarro in second, Luti third, Marini fourth, and Baldessari in fifth. And of course, Danma, he is down in... 14th place but anyway guys that's it from me thank you so much for watching don't forget to leave this video a like if you enjoyed it subscribe to my channel for more content i shall see you guys in the next video don't forget to stay safe and wash your hands see you